On this video, we're gonna talk about the systems that make a motor yacht work so we can totally be self-sufficient out on the water, including water, electric, heat and air conditioning, and plumbing. Spin me around and around, turn me upside down. Spin me around and around, let me feel. Hold me, tell me I'm not dreaming. I'm not dreaming. Hold me, tell me I'm not dreaming. I'm not dreaming, I'm not dreaming. So our motor yacht has two vacuum flush heads, and if you've ever been on a plane and hit the pedal and there's a swooshing sound, it's a, it's a vacuum that draws the contents of the bowl into a holding tank and depending on how often you're on the boat, like we live aboard, we have to pull into a marina that has a pump out machine where you empty the holding tanks. It's a real fun job. All right, let's cover electrical. Uh, number one, we have a generator on the boat that can provide all electricity when we are uh, out in the anchor, but when we're in a marina, we have this big cord which conveniently goes in and goes out into a big reel that's in the, in the bottom of the boat. And then we plug in to the electric that is supplied by the marina. And while we're here at the power pole, the other part of being in a marina is you get to connect to dockside water. And we usually have a, uh, a charcoal filter. And then the hose connects to the back of the boat. And that's how we get uh, pressurized water when we're at the marina. And then when we're on the hook, when we're out on the hook, we have a 90-gallon uh, uh, water tank, which you might be able to see if I open this. That is the uh, holding tank, which, as I said, holds 90 gallons of fresh water. While we're in here, this is called the lazarette. We have two 90-gallon um, auxiliary diesel tanks. There's the rudder system and uh, bilge pump under there. And we call I call this my basement. It's where I keep some storage of my some tools and a wet vac and things like that. This is the electric panel, pretty much like you have in your house. Uh, this bottom panel is the AC, so everything that runs on uh, either shore power or the generator is controlled here, including the three air conditioner units, etc. The top panel is DC, so everything that can run on batteries. For example, we can run all the lights, we can run fans, we can run a lot of different things on the DC. Um, and once we start the generator, we just switch over power here from DC, or excuse me, we switch over power from shore power to the generator when we're getting ready to go. Okay, for the rest of the systems, propulsion and heat and air conditioning, we gotta go into the engine room. So let's take this out. Blue boy, don't be falling down into the engine room, buddy. So when we're not connected to shore power, we have a generator, which is right here. This is actually a sound box. But inside is a, uh, a Kohler diesel generator which produces all the electricity we need to run the entire boat. And with the sound enclosure, it's actually pretty darn quiet when it's running. This is our 13 gallon hot water heater, which runs off of uh, electricity, obviously, just like a home unit. It's got an electrical core and it keeps water pretty hot for uh, showers and washing dishes, etc. Okay, for propulsion, we have two Yanmar 6LY. They're 480 horsepower each. Um, and if you can, not sure you can see that, but on either side of the boat, on either side of the engine is a 200 gallon tank of diesel. So with these two 200 gallon tanks plus the two 90s in the back, that's 580 gallons of diesel that we can carry. Those are what's called Raycor filters. There's primary and secondary fuel filters. So the fuel first goes through the Raycor, which spins it up and helps separate any water and any garbage there. And then there's also a fuel filter on the engine itself. Our boat is equipped with three reverse cycle heat and air conditioners, very similar to a heat pump in your house. There's one in the salon, there's one in the aft cabin, and there's one for the front berth and also the uh, galley area. So I'll show you this one. This is the biggest one for sure, the living space. Pretty simple the way they work, very much like a, uh, as I say, a window unit. The air will come in here passing through the filter, another filter in the back, and it either heats it or cools it, 
and then sends the air up and comes out the vent right up there. So that's a brief look at the systems of how the boat can operate. You on the dock, out on the hook, fully functional. It literally is our floating home. On our next episode, join us for our trip from the Chesapeake Bay up to Rhode Island, where we spot a whale. Look at that! Oh my gosh, I'm blown away. <laughs>